while we on this subject in this area, there are many things that we have to talk about, especially in the black community, because we can't afford to be going to that male versus female thing. We can't afford to play that card because they're attacking black men, they're attacking black women, and they are attacking our children. And we're so busy fighting with each other, blaming each other for the circumstances. And black women are looking for every opportunity to blame black men, black men looking for every opportunity to blame black women. And we sitting up here arguing with each other about the circumstances when we can't afford to do that. And just like this young lady, Christine Leahy, went automatically to the woman card after she started shit. Black women doing the same is no better. And especially for our circumstances, just between us, we can't afford to do that. So a couple weeks ago, you know, Ricky Smiley made a joke on his show about, you know, this girl was so black that whatever he said... And how quickly that shit went from zero to a hundred is crazy. Right, but I want to hear it from her. Let's hear what this young lady has to say. What offended her, what pissed her off about what Ricky Smiley has said on this radio show. Every morning I get up and I listen to the Ricky Smiley morning show. And I'm a huge fan of Ricky Smiley. I love me some Ricky Smiley. He lost um, a fan this morning, and I'm going to tell you why. I understand uh, his comedic views. Like, I understand where he comes from with, you know, his jokes that he tell. But um, in 2017, the way shit is going amongst black people, one of the jokes that he said this morning took it a little bit too far for me. And it was completely just... Out of nowhere, which made it even more unnecessary because it, it has to deal with dark-skinned black women. And they seem to always be the butt of jokes. And regardless of my skin tone and me being lighter, I'm still a black woman. All right? So my job is to defend black women, no matter what shade they are, when they are being attacked and ridiculed for no fucking reason. The joke went as such, completely out of nowhere, because he was doing his paternity test Tuesday uh, thing on there. He says, just just completely out of the left fucking field, um, a dark-skinned woman walked into my kitchen the other day and my skillet started laughing. They started giggling. And I'm sitting there in my car, and it hits me. Okay, he's making the analogy that the girl is so damn dark that his black skillets are giggling at her skin shade. How the fuck is this funny at all? For one, you're implying that being dark-skinned is something that's laughable. It's something that should bring a giggle or two for someone to be dark-skinned. It's in no way, shape, or form fucking funny. And I am past tired, especially, especially of black men ridiculing our black women. I'm fucking tired of it. I'm done. And people look at me crazy because I'm not even dark-skinned, no. But I have dark-skinned nieces, dark-skinned nephews. My older brother is darker than me. You're not going to keep knocking our people as if black is not beautiful this is the bullshit and the main reason why black women have the lowest self-esteem it's because our black men do not even fucking support us y'all talk all this shit about us and then when we break and try to change our appearance you fuck around and talk about that too well damn it's bad enough that our our skin is mocked and made fun of by white people. We turn around and our backbones, which is our men that should support us and stand up for us. Y'all turn around and fucking talk about us too. Where the fuck does that leave us? And y'all wonder why black women 
all black women are so horrible to deal with. They have attitude problems. They bullheaded. They act like they too strong. We have to because the majority of our men are bitches and pussies and don't stand up for us. Matter of fact, they're the ones that bash and knock us the fuck down. I'm pissed off that a celebrity of his stature will say such a fucking thing. Especially since he has brown skinned daughters. But I guess they're not that bad because they're not that dark. Uh, Ricky Smiley, I hope somehow, some way this video reached your ass and you recant what the fuck you said. Because that shit wasn't funny at all. Alright, so I guess the video did reach him, but he didn't recant what he said. Now, my question here is, how the hell did... It go from Ricky Smiley making a you so black joke to black men are bitches and pussies who don't respect black women. Not all, of course, but the majority. That's a bunch of bullshit. Right? A lot of women in the black community talk about how black men are abandoning them and going for white women when 90% of black men are married to black women. Right, so you're judging us off the ten percent that's married to non-black women. That's the first thing. But for her to get all the way from you so black that such and such, which doesn't apply to black women or black men specifically, right? Because I'm sure there are female out there who like goddamn the female comedian Monique. I'm sure she said to somebody, "You're so black that." You know, you walked in a room and couldn't see nothing but your teeth or some shit like that, you know? One more hole in her own, ain't she? Yeah. What time is it? What time is it? Yeah. You got it going on, Mo. Come on, bro. Let's go. Stop, stop, stop. Your mother's so dark, she make the lighthouse look dim. <laughs> That's dark. I ain't no comedian, but he wasn't specifically talking about black women. And it seems like black women search and find opportunities to do this. By the way, black men do this too. And when they talk about this community of black men who attack black women, which do is this, I see it. What they don't say is that there is about the same population of black men who say black women are queen or black women are gods. Not to mention the black women that bash black men. Now, she may not think she was bashing black men. She may just think, oh, I'm just pointing something out. But what you're doing is attacking black men just like everyone else. Right? I will admit that black women are quick to stand up for black men, but... They are just as quick to attack us. They may be the first one to stand up for us, but they are the first one to come for us. They just portray it as black women have been so perfect. Black women have made no mistakes. And I'm not saying black men haven't made mistakes, but the point is we're both accountable for what happened. Men can make the same arguments about how black women abandon them. Or don't respect them or don't want them. Because if I can recall, I can remember when that independent woman shit started happening. Well, it didn't just start happening. It been happening for 40, some 50 years. But I can remember in the 90s when it got heavy. I'm a strong, independent black woman. I don't need a man. You tell a man that for 20 years, what the fuck do you expect? And like I said, black men and black women, yeah, we have issues that we're going to need to work out. But for now, we're going to have to get on the same goddamn page and sit there to continually bash each other for you to come to the conclusion that all black men are bitches and pussies and ain't shit. Well, not all, because nothing's all, of course. But most black men are this. Because Ricky Smiley made a joke that could be made about men or women. Right, and you can talk about the dynamics of complexion, 
But all that is happening is everybody's making it worse. Right? You think men going to fucking go up and say, oh, 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 you're right. I'm so sorry about what I've been doing by you calling them bitches and pussies and demanding them to do shit. Especially after years of saying you don't need them and neglecting men. In the same way, you, you wouldn't expect or you wouldn't come back if men were calling you bitches and hoes like you claim that we do. But not all of us do. Now, some women are bitches. Some women are hoes. That's just facts. Doesn't mean all women are bitches and hoes. It's just that the good women surround the bad women. So they all end up in the same damn boat. And issues like this transcend race. Because we love to say as black people, oh, we're the only ones who do this and do that. Well, I got news for you. No, we are fucking not. They love to say black men are the only ones who blast their own race of women. That is some goddamn bullshit. I suggest you do more research. Just look up fucking MGTOW. All they do is quote unquote bash women. But no, black men are the only ones who do this thing. And women have to get out of this. Mindset that anytime a black, a man, let, her, let alone a black man to a black woman, criticize anything she does, that's not attacking a whole group of, of people. Right? If I call some random girl who is a bitch to me a bitch, that is not me calling every woman I've ever known a bitch. Or saying all black women are bitches or my mom is a bitch because this fucking girl ain't never did what my mom did for me. So how the hell is she magically in the same category? Now black women say, well, we're fed up. We've been having your backs all this time. No, all this time you've been saying we don't need you. Not saying black men have not been doing dirt again. But y'all act like y'all are so innocent and that black women haven't been doing dirt. Now, I don't want to... Go down this road because we can't afford to do that shit right now. If you haven't noticed, they're attacking all of our ass. And at the end of the day, just look at the election. That's the real poll. They put aside their gender differences for the sake of white people. For the quote-unquote survival of white people. And if we can't do the same then I don't know how can how we can change our results that we've been getting. So, you know, we got to stay out of this whole thing about black men disrespect black women or black women do this to black men. Because what you're doing is taking a certain small population and letting it speak for the whole community. That's no different from saying black People are criminals. Or black women are loud and ghetto. But going down that road is only going to lead to more division and plays right into the hands of these people. Right? It's funny how they use the civil rights movement. When Martin Luther King started talking about how they built the white middle class, how they, it was really welfare, but they didn't call it welfare. It was government assistance that built the white middle class. Martin Luther King started talking that shit, and all of a sudden they come up with policies to kick the men out of the home and make create single parent homes and to starve them out economically and come along with feminism and tell first black women they don't need black men and now all women that they don't need men. And now women are running, coming back saying, well, why don't you help us? Well, you've been saying you don't want our help, but we can't sit up here and cry about that. We have to come together. It is what it is. Okay, so I'm not really responding to uh, somebody that's upset about a joke, an old joke. Your mama's so black, when she walk in the kitchen, skillets start giggling. And it's just a joke that's been used in a comedy club. Uh, George Wallace used that joke. George Wallace said, your mama, uh, 
Your mama's so ugly, she can stop bird shit in midair. Your mama's so so fat, uh, the police told her the haul ass she had to make two trips. Your mama's so skinny, she had to run around in the shower to get wet. Your mama's so ugly, she make onions cry. Your mama's so black, she went to night school, they marked that absent. Your mama this, your mama that, your mama, your mama so dumb, your mama so stupid. These, these jokes are written in a book. Now, if you really go out and do your comedy research, you can go find the jokes in the your mama joke book. It's, it's, they're on the internet. They're on the internet. So, but, but what you did was, you know, take the opportunity to target me for telling the joke, but I'm not the first one to tell it. Hundreds of comedians have told that joke, but it struck a nerve with you one morning because I guess you just felt like, and some lady came on Facebook and said, well, she's been bullied. Everybody been bullied. I got my ass kicked in the seventh, eighth grade. Everybody has been through something. Now, I don't care about that. I'm not going to apologize. I don't owe her an apology. The joke wasn't to her. The joke was not about her. We have not attacked her family. And people kill me. The first thing come out of people's mouth that I find interesting. They say, I'm a fan. You're a damn lie. You're a damn lie. You're not a fan. You're not a fan. You're not a fan. What defines a fan? Because I'm sure everybody on this Facebook Live, I have said something, I did something that everybody didn't particularly care for. I still will be doing the jokes. Dark jokes, light jokes, fat jokes, skinny jokes, gay jokes, straight jokes. Jokes, 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 jokes. We still gonna do jokes.